Hey everybody, I'm Peter from Offroad Electric. Welcome back to the channel that is about building a four motor extreme off-road monster truck from two Tatras and four Nissan Leafs. And this is episode 42. Sponsored by our wonderful Patreon Patrons team. Thank you much guys for your help. If you would like to join us, there is the link down below. And you can also help us by purchasing this t-shirt. What's left is pretty much what, uh, in uh, engine compartment. We have suspension front and rear and that's it. So let's continue here. I would like to get into that vault over there and remove that main structure that holds the dashboard. So let's start with that. Simple. And now the windshield wiper assembly. That was easy, unusual, but I'm going after it. What do you think? <laughs> what the f***? <laughs> These big bolts, they make it like, they pretty much like tied it up into, into this bottle. Yes. Yes. Awesome! <laughs> Looks good. See these bolts? These nuts pretty much tied it up inside so it doesn't wiggle, I guess. That's why it's that way. That's it. Wow, that's beautiful. And it looks much simpler now. early the next morning hi guys it's another day and uh, we would like to finish this nissan leaf today hopefully now i will try to remove the inverter which is a device that changes the direct voltage from battery to articulate uh, voltage uh, for the motor and vice versa. I guess we will do the cooling line. Ah. 
and now we will disconnect the main power inlet and outlet here is the main connector this is kind of pain so you have to pull this blue one on the top so I will push this finger over here and pull it up and you can disconnect it <laughs> you, you should be able to disconnect it ah ok I didn't want to break it you have to really push pull it really hard high voltage cables over here there is no plug so I will have to unscrew it here yes here it is so there are those three terminals we have to unscrew should be able to pull it out now yay <clears throat> wow look how massive it is 380 volts goes there and so now we are going to remove the inverter Awesome! It's out! The inverter! So the signals are coming here through the, uh, through the plug and of course inlet and outlet of the power. Liquid, of course a liquid cooling mm -hmm. in and out. And now the battery junction box. Here is another piece I have to push in order to get it out. That's crazy. How can I pull it out? Any ideas from anyone? Yes. Okay, it's unlocked. And here is another one. Big one. And I have no idea why is it this way because it's impossible to reach it this is f***ing crazy here is one more connector <clears throat> this is pretty difficult when i have when i have it on my on my monster truck i will not make it this way so I think everything is disconnected and we just need to get it out. I'm saying just. <laughs> and now I have to find how. Nissan knows how to make uh, how to make repairs expensive. They will sell you car with a little margin and then when something happens Every little thing takes hours and hours and hours and they will make money on the service. <laughs> I am doing the wrong, wrong bolt. <laughs> so this is the correct bolt. <laughs> not, not the last one. <laughs> Can't believe it. Finally. How many minutes? <laughs> oh, Nisa! <sighs> we have it unhooked, uh, but I think these connectors, there is not enough room over there. So I think I have to remove these connectors anyway. 
Maybe I will get there better if when I push it there. So let's try it. I think so, yeah. We get there better now. Maybe let's do these. I can I can see them better now. <clears throat> yeah. That's crazy. Oh. Several bad puns later. There is just one big harness hanging down below it that goes to the battery directly. That should be fine. Everything else is disconnected. Hopefully we will be able to slide it out and get rid of this sucker. Who designed this? I don't really want to break this connector. If you ever work on the cars before, you love the designers on the car of the cars probably as well as I do. This is so stupid. I will probably have to disconnect the main cable under the vehicle also. Wow, that was the easiest one. <laughs> okay, let's try again. Oh my god! Yes, to vadí. Okay, empty. What the f We got it out, no damage, but I might have to file it a little bit so the seal would actually seal this connection. That's so fing stupid system here. At least it's out. I will try to remove this frame. Hopefully it will go. I think we have this frame almost free except this part over here. Can't wait to get to the motor. Wow! <laughs> That's very helpful. Ah, wow. I think the last hose is here that needs to be disconnected and then we can get rid of it I think ah. Ah. Finally look at this engine a long like this diameter like this this little thing will give you 110 horsepower and 280 newton meters, which is probably somewhere around 200 foot pounds. Such little thing and such powerful. So we have the motor and transmission over here. You can see the drive shafts. Here is the motor, here is the speed reducer, and you have a drive shafts that go that go to the wheels on the one side and on another side over there. Over here. I think if I get these bolts loose, I will be actually able to pull this drive shaft out, then shift the motor on the right, on, on this side, on the left, on my left, and pull the drive shaft out of the transmission on this side, and then remove the engine. Hopefully, my plan will work. It always works. So the bolts are out. So what's going on here? Here are some pins over here. Which will not allow me to move it out.
Yeah, very little is happening. I don't know if I'm doing something wrong here. Probably I do. It would go otherwise. I probably will have to take off the wheel, disconnect a half shaft over there and then try to somehow move it. And if it's not possible, I will have to do the same on that another side and remove the whole unit with the drive shaft somehow. Hopefully it's possible. So let's go, let's remove the wheel and maybe then we will be able to slide out that, that, uh, that half shot. So I ruined the bolt on the bottom. Let's try to do the steering rack. Okay, we got the steering rack. Disconnected at least. At least something. We got it out. I think it will be possible to pull it out with those axles on. Another side. Awesome! So steering wax is free from the wheels. So now this bottom one. Awesome! I think you are ready to remove the whole motor with the transmission, even with, the, with those two drive shafts. Just this is in the way. It's some kind of, I don't know what it is. Here behind the pump. So it's part of cooling system. There are so many new things I have no idea about, but you already figured it out. Yay. Not much coolant. Okay. This is heavy unit. Huh. What you are going to do is <clears throat> you can see this half shaft needs like 20 centimeters, maybe 25, less than one foot to go that way to be able to pull it, pull it out. So what we are going to do is after we unhook it, shift it or move it all the way this way. Push this one forward and then we will pull all the engine out. And now I have to go under the vehicle again. We have four bolts over here. Two on the top, two on the bottom. And two over here and two over here. It's pretty easy. Maybe even I will take it. No, I will take it. I will take it. We are living in epic times. We are going to remove the motor actually. I actually got it into it in four days or something like that. Uh, okay, so it holds on two screwdrivers here and one bolt over here. So we are going to uh, tie it up to the pallet jack, lift it up, wiggle somehow and hopefully we will be able to pull it out successfully. Wish me luck. It weighs together. I think the motor is like 60 kilos. 
And we have transmission there and two half shafts. I don't know, 100 kilos maybe, 200 pounds. There are not any hooks. I can <coughs> I can connect them too. So, let's pump it up a little bit. I don't really want to hit the windshield. So, here is the last bolt. Yes! There is no way, I cannot shift it either way. There is always like five inches of half shaft in the way. I will try to disconnect here that subframe on the bottom and on another side. Maybe we will, we can get maybe between that. Nah. Tak jednoduchý to je, co tu trvalo. <laughs> Did you hear that? Camera woman just said, uh, said that was so easy and it took you so long time. I'm barely walking. We have it out! <laughs> if you guys know how I can get them out, that would help me a lot. Look at that. Come on. Stop, stop, stop! And this will be definitely a wrap for today guys. If you like this video, please consider to become our patron. You can purchase the t-shirt. Don't forget to like, share and subscribe. Uh, see you on Tuesday. Thanks for watching.